the residence of Princess Ljubica. In one of the oldest parts of Belgrade, in Kosantic Evenets area, next to the Patriarchate building, diagonally from the cathedral, you can find a gem of civil architecture of the first half of the 19th century in Belgrade, the residence of Princess Ljubica, built with the intention of becoming a representative court of the Serbian ruling dynasty, the Obrenoviches. However, Prince Miloš rarely stayed there. The residence achieved its primary purpose during the first reign of his son, Prince Mihail Obrenović, from 1839 to 1842, when it served as a residence. The site of today's residence was the location of the old court of the Obrenović dynasty. As Prince Miloš grew in power, he wished to build a new, larger and more representative building. The residence was built in 1829, and in November of the following year, Princess Ljubica wrote to her husband that she had settled in the residence with their children. Princess Ljubica was modest, feisty, intolerant of her husband's infidelities, and she had her own opinion on many political issues. The residence of Princess Ljubica was built according to the design of Hadži Nikola Živković, the official princess builder. It is a combination of European and Oriental style, and its construction marked a turning point in Belgrade's architecture, because in certain elements it hinted the influence of European architecture. Traditional elements are most prominent in the internal organization of the space on the ground floor and the first floor, as well as in the roof structure, covered with clay tiles with protruding eaves. The roof also contains an octagonal dome and eight chimneys. European influence is reflected in the ornamental and architectural elements, especially expressed in the finishing of the facade. The basement is covered by vaults. A Turkish bath, hammam, Luxurious at the time, was built later on in 1836 with underfloor heating. The ground floor and the first floor have a central hall around which the rooms are arranged and they have a divanhana, a smoking room, or as we call it today, a living room, that is a salon. The residence has preserved many items from the past. Furniture, paintings, portraits of the prince's family, heating stove, Turkish rugs, oriental clothes, which all together make visitors feel the spirit of the old days. After Obrenović left power, the building was arranged according to their needs by various state institutions. It was also the home of the central government's treasury, then the Lyceum, the first high school in Serbia, the first Belgrade grammar school, the church museum. In the 1970s, the building was renovated and became a part of the Museum of the City of Belgrade.